The purpose of this video is to illustrate how to set up the ICC mirror fixture in preparation for calibrating the wave sensor. Basically, after the alignment is complete and with the front wheels straight ahead, the fixture is positioned so the primary mirror is square to the front wheels. A four-wheel alignment must be performed before aligning the wave sensor. Once the wheel alignment is complete, select Check with Express Align and then select Begin ICC Adjustment. The display will change to show the ICC adjustment procedures. You can also select the ICC adjustment procedure directly from the procedure bar. This video will guide you through the procedure, but we do suggest you also follow the instructions provided at the aligner. Use the scroll bar at the right to view each step. When the first section is complete, select Continue to finish viewing the remaining instructions. To begin the initial setup of the alignment fixture, locate it as shown at the right front corner of the vehicle. To check the distance to the vehicle, extend the gauge chain back to the bumper. As long as a portion of the gold links contact, the fixture is within tolerance. Now, set the mirror angle lever to the number 2 position. To check the height of the mirror, turn on the laser assembly and place it against the center area of the mirror. Then, note the position of the laser dot on the bumper. This location indicates the mirror assembly is too high. While supporting the weight of the mirror, pull the height knobs out and lower the mirror one position at a time. Recheck height with the laser assembly. Once the height is roughed in, check the lateral position. This indicates the fixture is too far to the right. Bump at the base to move the fixture. Recheck with the laser. When the initial position of the fixture is correct, the laser dot will be below and inboard of the recovery hook cover. The center area of the primary mirror is now in front of the vehicle's wave sensor. Next, pull the mirror arm down. Remove the target from the right front wheel adapter and install the laser assembly level. Snug the lock knob. Next, set the rear stand directly behind the laser assembly. Position the stand and magnet so the laser dot is striking the outer edge of the stand and upper corner of the magnet. Now, move the stand and place it in front of the rear alignment target. Move it laterally so the laser dot is striking the outer edge. And then, note the position of the laser dot in respect to the magnet. It should be striking the same upper corner. If it does not, loosen and reposition the laser assembly so it does. Now, bring the rear stand forward to verify the laser dot is in the same position. If it is, the laser beam is now parallel with the rack runway. If it is not in the same position, repeat the above steps to correct. Next, install the front wheel target into the laser assembly, locked in its required vertical position. The laser assembly is now set so the beam is parallel with the rack runway.
While observing this bar graph at the aligner, steer the front wheels until the bar graph is green and the arrow is centered. The front wheels are now precisely straight ahead. Using the adjustment screw at the base of the fixture, bring the reflected dot to the face of a laser assembly. Then, using the fine adjust knob at the mirror, place the dot in horizontal alignment with the laser emitter. Next, bump the base to bring the dot in vertical alignment with the emitter. If needed, Adjust horizontally again so the reflected dot is centered on the emitter opening. The mirror is now precisely perpendicular to the straight ahead position of the front wheels. And the wave sensor can be set. At this point, refer to the Nissan Consult diagnostic tool to complete this procedure. For aligners equipped with TD targets and quick grip adapters, two kits are required. Kit number 20-2722-1-IF includes a self-centering wheel adapter, tire clamp adapter, and rim protectors. And kit number 20-2577-1 includes the TD target to SCA adapter. Begin by removing the target assembly from the right front wheel. Then, set up the self-centering adapter from the kit. Attach the rim protectors first. Then, attach the tire clamp assembly to the adapter. Next, attach the adapter assembly to the wheel. Use the rim protectors to first locate the adapter. Then, with the tire clamp assembly, rotate the grip knob to clamp to the wheel. Now, install the laser assembly and snug the lock knob. Next, set the rear stand directly behind the laser assembly and turn the laser on. Position the stand and magnet so the laser dot is striking the outer edge of the stand and the upper corner of the magnet. Now, move the stand and place it in front of the rear alignment target. Move it laterally so the laser dot is striking the outer edge. And then note the position of the laser dot in respect to the magnet. It should be striking the same upper corner. If it does not, Loosen and reposition the laser assembly so it does. Now, bring the rear stand forward to verify the laser dot is in the same position. If it is, the laser beam is now parallel with the rack runway. If it is not in the same position, repeat the above steps to correct. Now, Install the TD target to SCA adapter to the laser assembly. Center the level bubble and snug the lock knob. Next, note and record the orientation of the target to the clamp and remove it from the quick grip adapter. Position the target here and then snug it in place.